Yesterday, a YouTube viewer by the name of Armando requested that I show him how to create landing pages. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to create a landing page that gets 40, 50, and even 60% opt-ins. So make sure you watch this entire video to learn how to build a perfect landing page. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you want to be added to this globe, simply reply or comment down below with your city, state, province, country, and I'll get you pinned. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we are going to use ClickFunnels to build landing pages. Now, what I'm gonna show you can be applied to any uh, funnel building software. I just use ClickFunnels because that's what I'm most familiar with. So let's go ahead and jump right into the computer so that I can build this landing page for you. First thing that you wanna do inside of ClickFunnels, we're gonna click on build a new funnel. Now again, you can use this with system.io, you can use, do the same process with uh, GetResponse, Aweber. The internals are going to be the exact same, the screens might look a little bit different. So now that we've clicked on that, we're going to click on collect emails, and then we are just going to give this as an example like this. And what I'll do too, Armando, is I'll actually put this, uh, I'll share this funnel with you. So if you wanna use this, you can just plug and play. So we're gonna click on build funnel just like this. And while that's loading, we are just going to talk about the components of a funnel. Um, every landing page should have a headline, subheadline, an input box for their name, input box for their email, and then a submit button. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scroll all the way down and do a blank page like this. And if you're brand new to ClickFunnels, the way that ClickFunnels is set up, it's set up in, let's see, we'll click on open that. It's set up in sections, rows, columns, and elements. And I'll talk a little bit more about each part in just a moment. We'll actually take a look at it so that you can see. Now I'm gonna delete this because we wanna start from a blank, blank, blank space. All right, so the first component, the largest component is a section. And sections are kind of like pieces of paper. You can only manipulate one section at a time. Uh, it's the largest thing out there. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on full width. That's gonna take up the entire page. Inside of sections are rows. Now you can only have one row at a time, but you can have multiple rows in a section. And inside of sections are columns, and again, kind of like rows, you can only have one column, but inside of columns, you can have multiple elements. We'll take a look at that in one second. So for the purposes of this one, and I'm gonna show you a couple different examples, we're just gonna do one column row like this. And then inside of the row, we are going to add elements. These are different components. For example, we can add a headline, subheadline, input box, image, all of that stuff. And so the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna add a headline. And the headline is going to be what captures your target audience's attention. Now, it's important that your headline is congruent with whatever it is your original content is, is about. If you're teaching people how to make money online, for example, you wanna make sure that your headline and even your lead magnet, your ebook, are related to making money online. It would not make sense for me to create a a lead magnet or a landing page that talks about Ted's woodworking when you guys are here to see and learn how to make money online. So what we wanna do, and what I like the most is how to do X in Y without Z. This is all, always a really good one. Now I'm gonna give you a couple examples of, of headlines, but I really like how to do X in Y. So uh, we could say like how to um, start affiliate marketing in 20 days 20 days without spending $1 million, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. How to do X in Y without Z, always a good one. And again, further down, I'm gonna give you a different example. And then we're gonna have a subheadline. We could say something like free training reveals how to start a successful affiliate marketing business fast. So just like that. And then here we're gonna have our input box for name. This is going to be enter your first name here, first name here, change that to first name like this. We're gonna have another input box. So I'm just gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna change this to email. And then we're gonna say your best email here best 
email here. All right, and then finally, you wanna have a button. Now this button is a submit button. It's going to actually enter in your target audience information. Now this is important, when you use when, when you use ClickFunnels, when you set the action, you want it to submit a form. Now, what I've done in the past is I actually selected go to the next page or go to the next step in the funnel. And unfortunately, what happened was I actually wasn't collecting email. So you want to make sure that you have it checked to submit order so that you can actually collect the emails. Okay. But that's not all. We're not done here. What I like to do is I like to do this full, we full width. Uh, this is really just personal preference. Other thing that you need to do is go settings, integration, and you want to connect it to your email marketing software. I use GetResponse, as you can see, an active campaign and AWeber. So I'm going to click on integration, add to campaign, and then I'm going to add it to my email list. And you know that it worked when you see this green check mark. Now, again, I'm actually going to share this funnel with you so that you can have it. Now, this is just one way to do it. Another way to do it. I'm gonna duplicate this. Another way to do it is to have a couple, two columns. Um, one thing that I, I wanna highlight is that the lowest level or the lowest thing on your page takes precedent over the higher thing. So what does that mean? That means that if I make changes here at the column level, it takes precedent over the next thing up, which would be um, the row or even the section. So to give you a good example of this, I'm just gonna change some colors. So uh, for example, if I wanted to change the background for this section, we're gonna change it to, uh, let's change it to yellow so that we can see. However, if I wanted to change the row, I can change the color of the row. We're gonna change this to uh, red and you can see the row change, but even more so, we can actually change the element as well. So we can go element, we're gonna go background, and then we can change this to green. And you can see the lower levels take precedent over the higher levels, hopefully that makes sense. Um, and you could even do this at the column level too, if you wanted to. Uh, so if we go column level here, we can change the background, uh, let's do blue like that. And so as you can see, I know that we've got a bunch of different colors and it might hurt your eye, but this is important to know if you are manipulating a funnel and you can't get it to do exactly what you want it to do. That's because the colors are at different levels. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to delete that. And then just really quickly, I'm going to show you how to make a two column landing page. Now, what you want to do is you want to have your opt-in information. So your first name, email and your submit button on the left side and then on the right side you want to have an image maybe it's an image of the ebook that you're promoting maybe you're sending people over to a video but the best way for the highest conversions is the people for people to have the uh let's just grab uh let's grab this right here um, the, for the highest conversions, you have this information right here on the left, left side and then your image of what it, whatever it is on the right side and so what we can do is we can just duplicate this and then I'm gonna drag it down here like that. And then again, I'm going to duplicate this and then drag it down once again. Come on, there we go. And then finally, we're going to duplicate that one more time. But this is how you do it. It's um, really simple. It takes, it takes a little bit of practice and what you can do is you can adjust the margin here. So if you want to make it a little bit more even, and then uh, we could do something. Here's another great. Here's another great headline that we can do. Um, we can do expert secrets. Those always work out really well. So we could say something like, um, we could do something like, and I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do um, the truth about something that the gurus or experts don't want you to know. Um, another, whoops, another great one. And again, I'm gonna just copy this 
I'm going to bring it all the way down. Actually, I need to create a new row. So I'm just going to create another row real quick. Or column. Drag it down like that. And then we're going to say something like uh, another great one is, um, let's say, um, five biggest mistakes you're making when trying to lose weight. This is another good one. Five, mis five biggest mistakes you're making uh, when you're trying to do something. That's another good one. Um, those are the ones that I usually stick to. And this is, these are the usually the highest converting ones. How to do X and Y without Z, and then the truth about X that the gurus don't want you to know. The truth about weight loss, the truth about affiliate marketing, the truth about, I don't know, setting up a box fam. But yeah, this is, this is it. And then you want to make sure that you hit save. When you hit save, you'll get this thing that pops up and you just want to give it a title because it'll actually show up here. So if we change this to um, example funnel, it'll show up here at the top left under the tab. You wanna make sure that you add a description, add some keywords, add your name, and then an image as well, so that if you paste this into a Facebook group, this image will show up, okay? That's how you do that. And then if we look at it on mobile, always take a look at it at mobile, you can see what this looks like. One pro tip for mobile is make sure that you have your input and submit above the fold. And basically what that means is um, people don't have to scroll to enter in their information. Also, another thing that you can do is you could duplicate this if you wanted to, if it's, if it's too large, um, we could actually make this, we could make this desktop only if we wanted to. So I'm just gonna do this one, make this one desktop only, come on, just like this. And so when I, ooh, I didn't want to do that. So what we want to do is we want to make this element desktop only. So when we switch to mobile, we'll only see that one. And then on this one, we can make it mobile only, and then we can adjust the size as well. So as you can see, it's not taking up so much space when, it, when they look at it on mobile. And then if we switch back to desktop, you can see it's just that one. So you can actually do this really simple both desktop and mobile. Um, I like ClickFunnels because I tried Kartra and with Kartra, you have to make like two separate or three separate pages for desktop, for mobile, and even tablet. With ClickFunnels, you can just make a few adjustments, make some elements desktop only, and then get up and running. The final step that you wanna take is to come over to your thank you page, and you're gonna do a couple things. One, on your thank you page, you're gonna say, thanks for entering your name and your email. The second thing that you're gonna do is say, your digital product will be delivered in five to 10 minutes. While you wait, check out these products and they're going to be affiliate links. So we're gonna click select here. And then again, this is gonna be real simple, real easy, but this can actually help you earn affiliate commissions on the front end right away. Maybe 10 to 15% of the people that see this page will, will, will click on your affiliate links and buy, but it's a good way to start making money up front. So we're gonna, just gonna click edit. And then, you know, it says, thanks for signing up. Then we're going to say your, your lead magnet, whatever the name is, will be delivered to your inbox in five to 10 minutes. So it'll just say something like, um, your, let's, we'll call it, um, let's see, your ebook will be in your inbox in five minutes. And then we could say something like, uh, while you wait, check out my recommended products for X, whatever your, your thing is. All right. And so then we can actually have a couple different affiliate links. So we'll just duplicate this, duplicate this. We'll have three affiliate links and then you can earn commissions. And just like that, on the front end, you could start making money. But this is how I go about making all of my landing pages. Now that you know how to make a landing page, click the first link in the description for my free affiliate marketing planners. Those planners will help you plan and organize your online business so that you can make more money online. 
Click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start to learn more. Watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you grow your online business.